Welcome back, this is Yamachak, and today we have Last Inua. Um, check how much it costs, I do not know. Uh, it is available on Steam for $8.79 Canadian. Uh, it is an immersive and emotional platform adventure game developed by Glowforth. I do not know if it'll be any good or not. We're going to give it a try. Uh, I'm noticing at the start that there is no volume control in this game. You cannot change the volume. So I'm kind of yelling at this point to get over the sound of this. I've turned it down. I have me boosted and I'm like talking as loud as I can reasonably talk. God, it's really, really loud. Like, it's so loud. I'm really hoping that I'm getting over the the sound of the game by talking a bit louder. I've got the microphone a little bit closer. It's ridiculously loud. No idea what's happening yet. Can't control the volume. Really, really hate that. Okay, apparently if you have uh, issues with seizures, don't watch this. They didn't give me a warning? I'm gonna put a warning on. I have no idea if this is a uh, culturally appropriate game. I do not know. I will tell you that I don't like the game too much, to be honest. God, like, why do they just put these huge flashes? And then not have a, a warning. Like, I just don't understand. I do seek the chosen one. Like the animations are just wonky. This is not a well made game. Climb, dude. Yeah, pull yourself up. There you go, man. Some reason I'm rolling when I jump off a, a small ledge like that. There's a fire here. That'll warm you up. You gonna help me up this too? Okay, so jumping doesn't actually jump. It like... That's why it feels so weird. Because like when you're running and then you jump, it's like a separate thing. Jumping and walking aren't the same thing. It feels so weird. The controls are just... Yeah. I have to climb up this. I can't just jump up. Jump up that one, though? What the heck? <laughs> Get that peak of the jump, man. Get the peak of the jump. Peak of the jump! Peak of the jump! Come on, I could have made that. I could have made that. There's a cooldown on... 
on jumping though? The Trinity. I'm mashing every button I have. We got bears and crows and all kinds of stuff. Our world is under attack. We guard everything that is sacred. Tonra cannot enter here. We are united by the keepers. We are now under attack by Tonra. I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. <laughs> Your son Hiko has a gift. A gift so strong his body is collapsing. Tonra fears him, but the keepers need him. Bring him to Tulugak, Keeper of the Sky. Bring him to Sos, the Keeper of the Grounds. Bring him to Nanertak, Keeper of the Water. Only if Hiko visits all Keepers can our world survive. Sounds good, he's got the Triforce. Alright. Alright. 20 minutes of this? Not having a good time so far. <laughs> uh, if you like the story stuff, maybe maybe, maybe it's good. Like I said, I don't know if this is a culturally appropriate thing. So far it seems fine-ish, I suppose, but I don't know. Oh no! I'm supposed to dodge the ghosts, I guess. Somehow or other, I, I dodge them. Can you continue as well? How do you dodge the ghosts? I do not know. Like that. That was very easy. I do not have any other controls as this character. I can only run. As a result, the animations feel much better. I can switch. Yeah, just just punch your way through. Okay, all of a sudden the controls have changed. So before, A was jump. Uh, what the heck? Okay, so you have um, X and A, which are jump or attack. Hello? Yeah, you, you're down here, buddy. Let's jump over here. Jump over here. Come on, man. Yeah, you can do it, dude. And then, like, it's also punch on these for some reason. Which is bizarre. No, we're getting attacked by the Yeti. How do we dodge the Yeti, man? And why did you roll there? Like you have to it has to be fluid or else it just looks funky. Why do I have to wait for the kid? Why did the Yeti skip? I have so many questions. I don't care about this, honestly. I've lost my interest in it completely. I'm sorry if you're interested. I am just absolutely not. <laughs> it looked cool on the page, honestly. In practice, it looks hella flight. Okie dokie. How do I fly? By teleporting up here and then cool because Hiko can't jump that's the thing you have to remember that Hiko cannot jump uh, they're incapable of jumping 
Cool. So it jumps on, and then for some reason, I don't. It's just. It's just. Nah. These controls are just weird. And uh, like, it, there's just I don't know. To to me, it kind of feels like as they were going, they were like, "Oh, we could add this in too." What button are we gonna put it on? I don't know. You have the one button that does stuff, and then the other button that doesn't do stuff. Like, I don't know. There's 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 more buttons, dude. <laughs> there's there's a lot more buttons involved, and uh, I feel like I don't know. It just feels bad to me. Like it's just it's just one thing after the other. And I don't understand why. I know I skipped the talking about stuff, but like I don't believe the talking about stuff really has much of a much of an impact on it personally. Okay. Want to be up here. I'm unable to leave. I I I cannot leave actually. I actually cannot leave. That's cool. That's cool, dude. You trapped me. Oh no. Yeah, you can't climb up the rest of the way there. That would be that would be that would be silly. Turn around. Wait for the thing. Hit the jump button, which is only jumping sometimes, but not always. You can't just jump off at a reasonable distance. You have to. You have to leap. <laughs> oh, it's just um. Yeah, really not for me. It would be fun if, like, I don't know if the pu if there were like puzzles that are hard, or if the controls felt fluid, but like. It's 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 really just about uh, the storytelling, and I'm not like I don't know. There was there was another ledge there that uh, we couldn't climb up. That was exactly the same, but we couldn't climb up that one. I don't know. It just bugs me, man. <clears throat> can we punch this guy? No. I can only jump. Can't punch, because there's no dedicated punch button. There's only a dedicated um, action button and then a non-action button. Super roll. <gasps> Excuse me. Hiko! No, Hiko! Whatever will we do, Hiko? Why are you rolling? Why am I allowed to go into this one without the kid here? I have so many questions. <laughs> Who made this? It's trash. Look, I'm not, I'm not commentating on the, on the cultural aspects of it because I don't know. But as a game, not a fun one. If you're into the cultural stuff, then like by all means, maybe it's really fun, you know? Why am I able to climb up this one? Why can't I punch this one? <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. What is this? It's a spirit rune. Okay, apparently you can break your legs if you fall, but only at like uh, heights that are... I don't know, man. It's just... I don't get it. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna like. Why am I? Why am I climbing? Like, what are we doing? What? Are, what the heck, man. Okay, so you just push this one. Okay, previously when you wanted to push something, you had to punch it, and then instead of breaking, it moved. But this one, you have to you have to shove. Sounds good. Sounds good, dude. 
that distance doesn't break the kid's legs, though, you know? Yeah, sure. On some hard ice, you know, slippery surface. Totally fine, though. Totally fine. We have to get to a uh, campfire, I suppose. I suppose it's quite cold out here. I uh, I suppose we're moving a lot, but um, here let's, let's check at the let's sit at the campfire for a moment. Get that that heat. Apparently, there's a heat mechanic. <laughs> who would have Who would have thought? There there there, uh, there were no signs of it previously, but apparently there's a heat mechanic. And you have to concern yourself with that, apparently. Why did I switch back? And why did I keep moving backwards? Like, what the heck's going on, dude? <gasps> she died! He died? They died. I don't know. I just want this episode to be over so I don't have to play this game anymore. Because <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Look. If you're into it, by all means, that that height doesn't hurt, though. You know, like that height's fine. That height's totally fine. Move your butt over here, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks like wow, dangerous and stuff, right? Yeah. Who cares? I get to go push this block. Apparently, I have to roll after falling from that block. But higher heights, I don't have to roll. I just this game sucks. I don't know who made it, but like, I don't know if they ever played a game before. And look, maybe, you know, the cultural stuff in it, maybe it's, maybe it's cool, if, if you're into that. But again, I just, evaluating it as a game, it's, it's trash. I apologize. Why did I punch there? Like, was I was just a little bit too far away? Get away! Get away! Can you follow? Or something? Like, are you gonna follow me now? No? Cool, dude. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, we push this. Which unlocks something dumb that I don't care about. We're, we're, we're freezing to death, okay? You don't get to just sit there and chat, okay? Why do you... What is going on with you? How... Do, what? Okay, this... What, why are there two? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? Why am I able to do this? It's not where I wanted to go, but like... Okay. Like, if it's going to be about platforming, make the platforming feel decent, at least, please. And it just super duper doesn't. Cool beans. I wonder, I, wonder, I wonder what mechanic they're going to throw at us now. What, what new thing do we get now? Oh, I should have moved the stupid light. <laughs> right, that's the new mechanic. At least this is using a new button, okay? So this one's the D-pad. And at least they're using a new button, okay? I can, I can at least respect that. They implemented it, they give you a little tutorialization, and then, uh... Yeah. It's, uh, kind of silly, but, you know, whatever. I can at least respect that, at the very least, we got to use a new button. At 
And we're gonna get to the end of this level, and then that's that's it for this episode. Ugh. Like, what a puzzle, man! What a puzzle! What a what a puzzling thing! I don't know. To me, it just feels like if you're gonna try to make like a story type thing, like put the story in. This isn't really story. It's just bad platforming. I don't require it. Thank you, though. And like the the sound cuts out as you like turn it here. Unless you go in circles. Because it like stops briefly. And it just completely cuts it out. And it's just. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible, dude. Somehow or other, you caught that. Sure thing, boss. Away we go. Okay, yeah, keep going. Rawr. Whatever, man. See if I care about your rars. Oh no, he's, that's going to get me real good. I don't know where I'm going from here, man. Like up and then, I don't know. Anyway. That's going to do it. This is Last Inuit. It's available for eight seventy four Canadian on Steam. If you're interested in it, then go ahead and pick it up. It's fairly cheap for, for well, it's pretty expensive for what it is. But it's fairly cheap. Um, I super did not have fun. <laughs> not for me at all. I was I was thinking I might enjoy the like story driven experience, and I I just super didn't. There isn't enough story. It's it's just platforming. It's not even good platforming, so it kind of sucked. But um, hey, <laughs> that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, and subscribe to see more of the future comment. If you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.